superintendent. One of the things that didn't change too much of this cruise was the art offered by Park West. <laughs> the <options>. There's a <laughs> lot of nerd themed sci fi, fantasy, pop culture, comic type art that's available. <laughs> You've seen them at different conventions you've been to. Uh, what are the odds that we can get some nerd themed print art? We have the gallery for that of every cruise ship, and it's kind of the same deal where Park West is, they have their contract with the cruise line. And yeah, they, they, it's a third party company that drives the art. It's not Holland American. So. For them to accommodate us means. Okay, that's good. Yeah. No, no, sorry. <laughs> I was laughing. I was, he was laughing at the, the double bird. Fuck <laughs> you, third party. I wasn't laughing at you, Scar. Keep going. Okay. Uh, Park West would probably rather just make 0%, uh, zero re number of dollars of revenue for 2% of their year than deal with sourcing that art. I mean, not to, not to be, I just think that that's probably the calculus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it involves shipping a whole bunch of art to the ship, and whatever they don't sell, it involves shipping it back, because it's and not like anybody else. And we've also offered, hey, you know, we can have, we can organize that, but because Park West has a contract, there's no way that they're going to release that, even if they know they're going to make next to zero. Yeah, it's the same story with the shops on board. Those are managed by a third party that contracts with the cruise line, and they're not really under our control directly uh, in the same way the ship is. 